The Bitcoin price today continues to consolidate under a seven month resistance of which we've hit and been rejected off of one, two, three, four, five separate times. If we are finally able to break above and close above it, prepare for October. October, babies. <laughs> October, you said, it not October. You said October, right, Meltem? That is right. General partner of Crucible Capital, Meltem Demurs, explains what the data for Bitcoin is telling us. And after, I want to show you this one chart, which the mainstream media is not reporting, as well as Solana News, Altcoin News. Watch today's whole video. But with Bitcoin, what should we expect next? And I think one of the things that's really important to remember here is um, the crypto industry is an interesting one because we have a plethora of data, right? Sonali, you shared some of it uh, pertaining to ETF flows. That is a data point that's really widely tracked, but we have a lot of on-chain data that we can look to. I think what we're seeing right now, the Bitcoin halving happened earlier this year. There is this four-year cycle that gets talked about a lot in crypto that's directly driven by these Bitcoin halvings where the supply of Bitcoin mined in every block gets cut in half. It's effectively the inflation rate in the Bitcoin protocol getting cut in half. We had a halving earlier this year. Typically, the halving takes about nine months to sort of filter through. We've seen, you know, BlackRock went from owning zero Bitcoin at the start of the year to now holding 25 billion dollars of Bitcoin. We have Larry Fink in his earnings call for BlackRock talking about the potential of Bitcoin to be a massive asset class like gold. And so I think there's just been a fundamental shift and coupled with sort of this having and this typical four year cycle we tend to see with Bitcoin leading and then other longer tail crypto assets following. We should have this incredible backdrop. And on top of that, it's also an election year where crypto, believe it or not, has become a massive platform for the Trump campaign. And now it's starting to become a, a small but growing part of the platform for the Harris campaign. So all of this taken together, I think, is driving a lot of attention. So it's a waiting game like right now. I'm personally watching the stock market right now for sort of traditional investor sentiment. I mean, it's a very tricky market at the moment because year to date, yes, we continue to hit all time highs. This should be euphoric. Yet investors are nervous. We got earnings as we head into an election and everybody's wondering what the Fed's actually going to do next. This uncertainty combined with the grinding upwards of new all time highs is the reason there's still opportunity. And we have what, 46 new highs and it's the market that nobody actually loves. So we continue to go higher and quite honestly, we probably can continue to go higher because I've never seen a market that's doing so well that nobody talks about and everybody's afraid of. And again, path of least resistance is what I always believe in. And the path of least resistance, in my opinion, continues higher because there's absolutely zero FOMO on the upside right now. JJ Kinahan explains his reasoning on where he sees markets in 2025. But one of the reasons, as I started with, that I think we continue higher is if they're going in, they're going in very, they're still going in very. Just dipping their toe in. Yeah. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. And I think there, to your point, there are some people who are so underinvested, and that's usually the time the markets continue higher. Again, people don't truly believe. And, it, it, and everyone I talk to is so nervous. You know, the Fed's been a tough story. Mm -hmm. People are unsure what to do there. Although the Fed is now in a massive easing cycle. So. Well, Yes, they Whether are, we get but a then the next meeting or not. somebody hasn't told the pound market that the last week or so. And this chart is what it all comes down to, that the mainstream media isn't sharing. The Dixie, the strength of the dollar index, keeps on rallying. I think this rally will extend through end of year. I know many were predicting doom for the dollar a few weeks ago when the Fed pivoted. But since everyone likes comparing this BTC cycle to 2016, note that the Dixie had a 9 to 10% rally in Q4 2016 as well after a week, August, September. So again, this is the strength of the US dollar. If the US dollar is very strong, people keep their asset, keep their money in the dollar. They don't put them in assets. When the dollar starts losing strength, that's when they will put value in the stock market, into crypto, into Bitcoin. It seemed the Dixie weakened into the Fed pivot, and then the day, the week-ish it happened, bounced off it. Until this reverses, that's a hold on alt season. But that's okay. Everything's fine. The current Bitcoin having progress is only 12% of the way through. So again, being here today is like being right here in 2020, still a lot of upside, 
like right here at the end of 2016, and even like right here in mid-2013. We are only 12% of the way through, and this is par for the course with alt season. Altcoin season starts typically 224 days after the Bitcoin halving, meaning around then, that is when Bitcoin dominance usually tops and will start falling very soon. You have passed the darkest times and now you deserve the reward. So comparing to where we are now, understanding that we are not yet 224 days after the halving, looking at 2017 and 2021, 224 days is when Bitcoin dominance started to fall and altcoins started to rally. Click subscribe right now if you appreciate this alpha. We drop a video every day keeping you informed about crypto. And huge growth milestone for Ando and Solana. Ando's flagship yield coin, USDY, recently surpassed over 100 million in TVL on Solana, achieving over 100% growth in the past 30 days. Meaning that even though price for both Ando and Solana has been chopsolidating, fundamentals are improving. Beauty of Ando. I found this interesting. I want to share with you. This is the chief strategy officer at Ando Finance discussing how demand for Ando products may increase as interest rates drop, which we all expect them to over the next year. It's about 75 seconds. When interest rates go down, and this is similar to what Jeremy's saying, I guess, is... Uh... The need for stuff like borrow, margin, all these sorts of things typically goes up, right? When capital becomes cheaper, leverage becomes more popular. There is no better funding tool for these types of things than a treasury when you look at traditional markets. So I'm very bullish the concept of using tokenized treasuries in these types of trades and environments, which only is going to grow when interest rate actually drop. Um, so... I think the demand for products paradoxically almost may actually increase when interest rates go down for the Ondo products. Um, also, even when they go down to like 4%, 3%, whatever, 3% is still better than 0%. <laughs> and people forget the investor protections that our products come with uh, because people, the retail money typically doesn't think that way. Institutional money does. And so the investor protections that the Ondo products have that are far better than stable coins, honestly, you're not going to go anywhere. On our business model, fundamentally, the beauty of Ondo is any yield that is being generated, more or less all of it, is being passed to the end user. And news for gaming altcoin Superverse and the Say Network. Superverse is officially building with Say, the fastest parallel blockchain designed for high-performance gaming and decentralized apps. And why did they choose Say or C? Well, Say is a layer one that combines the dominant development standards of Ethereum with the speed of Solana to create the first ever parallelized EVM with over 12,500 transactions per second, 380 millisecond finality, and extremely low transaction fees. Say is built for high performance and scalability. Developers in the Superverse community can now start building. Be sure to like today's video if you got value today and like all we see tomorrow.